Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Sean. Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a very special video for you guys. It is a full gameplay from this past Weekend League. It is Monday, so Weekend League just finished up, I believe, earlier this morning. Uh, Weekend League Chronicles is going to be coming out this week. The pilot episode premieres this week. I'm going to aim for Wednesday to, for it to be released. If not, it will definitely be coming out on Thursday. I will let you guys know on my Twitter feed, so go follow me on Twitter if you want to keep up to date with when it is exactly going to be going live. But it will for sure be going live Wednesday or Thursday. Just haven't got it edited yet. Have to get all, go through all my recordings that I did. I recorded every single game this weekend league, all 25 games. It's a lot to go through, a lot of swifting to do that I have to accomplish in the next 48 hours. So. That will be coming soon, but today it's a full game breakdown for you guys. I played a professional Madden player, and I use the air quotes on that very sarcastically, a pro Madden player who likes to cheat. So, for a little bit of context on that, I played this guy that you're about to see me play, Last night at about 11 o'clock, um, I was finishing up on Sunday night. It is currently Monday afternoon, so I was finishing up my weekend league, uh, which, by the way, it was uh, all in all, it was kind of a disastrous start altogether. The big grand scope of weekend league in general was just a terrible tragedy. But um, I thought we did okay, and you'll see. You get, you'll see. You'll see. But anyways, I, play, I was playing this guy, and he is pretty well known around the you know competitive Madden community as being you know, someone who grinds leaderboards. He's competed in tournaments before for EA. He's made live events for EA, and it just so happened that he ended up going 25 and 0 in weekend league. And I'll show you guys right here. He went 25 and 0. He played all 25 games, and he won all 25 games. Apparently, it's not showing the weekly, but it is showing here. The number one guy on Xbox. His name's Franchise GG. This is who he played. And, spoiler alert, he ended up beating me. It was a great game. There's a reason why I'm going to be doing a full game commentary over it. But a couple of things, a couple of videos surfaced after we played where he was losing games he was going to lose a game and he disconnects the person he was losing to and neither of them got a win or a loss I'm pretty sure it was either he got the win and the other person got the loss or it's neither of them got the win so this guy who has once again competed in EA live events and tournaments before in the past is out here in the year 2020 cheating in a competitive leaderboard setting really is something to be to behold for sure he, he I will say a next level of stupid just a whole there here's stupid right here and then there's a whole nother freaking level of it through the roof and that's where that guy is really just did not give two shits which is unfortunate because i thought we had a great game and you guys are going to see here in a second once we start getting into the to the full game breakdown that it was a pretty back and forth game he did not dc me luckily enough and if he did i would be a whole heck of a lot more angry than i am now because this is very it's very frustrating that we're seeing this from people who are considered professional Madden players that they have to go to these lengths to win in a free game and this makes zero sense but anyways enough of me talking and let me chit chatting we're gonna get into the game here it's the full game weekend league game like this was like my 22nd game that I played 21st game something like that so it was pretty deep in the weekend league run and uh, he was also unbeaten at the time. So, uh, so yeah, without further ado, here's the gameplay. 
All right, here we go, folks. Full game commentary here today. Going up against this quote-unquote pro man player who likes to cheat. And I knew right away when I saw his name in the top right hand corner of the screen that this was going to be a sweaty game. A hell game is what we like to call it. Where we know it's going to be extremely tough and it's going to come down to the wire to say the least. And this one definitely did come down to the wire. And you'll see why and you'll see how here in a short amount of time. But he gets the ball first. Um, he did run a very unique scheme on offense, and when I mean unique, I mean very, very boring and just made me want to fall asleep as he would run the ball every single play for the most part because he has Bo Jackson, and Bo Jackson is one of the best running backs in the game at the moment. As you can see, he was running very different. He was running varying types of runs. He was running counters. He was running inside zone runs. He was running 0-1 um, traps. I mean, you name it, he was running it. He was running every single formation in his playbook as well, which made it even more frustrating to play and more difficult to stop on defense. I just did not have any clue, really, for the most part, how to stop it. I had to try to shoot gaps as best as I could. Right there, we did a pretty nice job of bottling it up as he almost breaks a free one right there. He would occasionally pass as well, and you'll see that there's a reason why he runs the ball um, right here, he goes to his passing set, which is gun ace slot. It's a very popular formation in Madden on third and seven right here. Horrible user by me. I should have guarded that route that was coming, breaking back into the middle of the field, but we didn't. And he's in first and goal. And then right here, this is where the game could have changed for good. We drop a pick six. You see my reaction. I was heated. I was so heated after that happened because that was a potential game winning pick six as well. Because I got the ball at half. Luckily, though, for him, he settles for three. After all that, he took up the whole first quarter just to get three points. Almost throw it away as well by throwing a pick six. Got to be very frustrated for him. But for us, I was just like, I could not believe my eyes. I thought I had it in the bag. And Troy Vincent, who is my one of my best corners, goes ahead and he drops that potential pick six and now we are on offense for the first time here as we are on a little bit of draw what i like to do on first down we like to run a little bit of draw with lamar just to get things going and it goes nowhere he was running this very unique defense as well i have not seen this yet um this was generating pressure very well and as you can see i throw a horrible read to tyree kill it was double double covered nothing open i also had pressure on me as well and he gets the ball right back and already we're down to the two-minute warning as he goes ahead and he throws another pass here. Right up the, right up the middle of the, of the cover two defense that I was running. Hits me with Tyree Kill and gains a big chunky yard. So he's at the 26-yard line, dumps it off to Bo Jackson. Once again, probably his favorite player on his team. Right here, another run. Just once again, just all kinds of different runs. Right there, he breaks one free on a draw. To go up by 10 so now with a minute and a half i need to try to get something here at the end of the half because i also get the ball as well so we're looking to double dip the chip what that means is trying to get two scores here well not really two scores they didn't have a one score here at the end of the half and then double dipping it at the end of or the beginning of the second half as we do exactly that with tie re-kill up the scene left him wide open don't know what he was thinking there Tyreek Hill was completely butt naked, and we get on the board with 48 seconds left here in the half. Trying to muster up a stop on defense is very difficult, especially against something you've never seen. Right here, he runs a little play action. Tries to hit us with a glitchy cover two bomb here, but Adrian Wilson is having none of it. Adrian Wilson, one of the best safeties, one of the best players on defense in Madden right now. Go and get you one if you do not have it. I try to journal. And uh, that's one thing that's going to definitely come back to haunt me later in the game. And you'll see in a big way that the journal uh, nearly cost me an offensive possession here. But right there, as you can see, back-to-back -back plays he gets to me. Just, I could not block this A-gap pressure that he was getting right here. We just dump it off to Jermichael Failing, and he can't even catch it. So we just go ahead and we punt the ball. It's 4th and 24, no use in trying to do anything dumb here. There's only 10 seconds left in the half. Might as well just give him one last little possession here as he tries once again. For a deep play, he has nothing open right here. Just gets rid of the ball. And that's how we're going to end. Or he runs a one more little trap, I think that was. Trap die, whatever you want to call it. 
to end the half. So now we get the ball. We're down by three. We have a decent amount of momentum. It's going to be all coming down to just properly execution. Hopefully, we don't get sacked as well. Right here, we're going to break out the little inside zone run to the right just to get back on the right hash. And I try to journal again, and we only gain about two yards right here. Second and eight. Looking, looking, we just end up scrambling with Lamar Jackson. Get to midfield, get down as well by double tapping, double tapping X, and we get sacked once again. Justin Smith gets us for the second time in the game. And as you can see right there, this, I mean, I was just so confused on how to block it. I definitely have not seen this blitz before, and it just absolutely bagged me and right there. Yet another horrible read, trying to force the issue, and he gets a pick with his linebacker, Bobby Bell. So that was a huge wasted opportunity for myself to try to get back into this game. And now he has got all the momentum on his side. Up by three with a little over a minute to go. Here he is chewing clock as well. He snapped that with one second left on the clock. And the chew clock glitch as well is already difficult enough to deal with. And to deal with it with someone who's running the ball is even worse. Like this guy. So right here, third down and three. We... User everything. He has nothing open. He has Rich Gannon, who is not a mobile quarterback, and we get to him to hold him to a fourth and five. He settles for three, so we are still down by one possession. 13 to seven with 322 left to go here in the game. We take it out here with Cam Akers, and we get to about the 30 yard line. Once again, we are going to the QB draw here on first down. This is what I like to do typically if I'm on the left hash. And right here, we try to journal with Lamar Jackson. Isaiah Simmons has none of it. But then, second and 11, we go up top to none other than Tyreek Hill. And you guys are going to see in Weekly Chronicles why he, um, why I was screaming his name over and over again. This whole entire weekend, I felt like I screamed Tyreek Hill a million times. And you guys will see why. As we go ahead in this game, 14-13. to 13. But as we know, defense, it's... It's tough to get a stop. It is extremely tough. And right here, he gets it down to the two-minute warning. 14-13. to 13, Hits a wide-open corner route to Jermichael Finley on third and four. And he gets in the field goal range just like that. So we have to hold the door here. Trying to get a stop. We call our first timeout of the half. Got to get another stop here. And we do. We bottle him up. Third down and long. A minute and a half here. We got to get a stop. Got to get a stop. Right here, he has a wide open crossing around. That's Jerry Rice. But Tyron Matthew breaks it up with one step ahead. That is the ability uh, where you can have faster receiver cups to receivers and man coverage. Tyreek, or Tyran does a nice job of catching up to it. We hold him to three. And ladies and gentlemen, it's a two-point game. A minute 13 left. I have a chance to go down and win the game here with a field goal. Just got to put it together. But, uh... There were other intentions in mind, and you'll see here. And that is how the cookie crumbled. That is how I lost the game. I was trying to get out of bounds with my running back, Cam Akers. I jurtle out of bounds, and his guy hits me, and he fumbles. And he takes it down to the two-yard line where he proceeds to kneel the ball out. Man, oh man, you want to talk? I don't know what's a more heartbreaking way to end a game. Is there a more heartbreaking way to get in the game? I don't think there is. I, I think losing by a field goal is not that heartbreaking. I mean, shit, if you allow a field, if your defense is bad enough to allow yourselves to get in the field goal range, then you should lose the game. But... I just couldn't believe it. I was awestruck. As you can see, I'm just leaning back in my chair, just like disgusted with myself that I had this is the way I had to lose the game. I didn't even get a chance to go on a game winning drive. It just is very unfortunate. But Madden gives as Madden takes as he just kneels the ball out. So, once again, after this game, this is about 11 o'clock, a couple videos surfaced on Twitter of him uh, disconnect glitching people towards the end of the games where he ended up getting the win. So, yeah, all in all, I mean, losing to this guy wasn't too great, but then losing to him after the fact of him being a cheater is just like, well, I really suck at the game, but I got to get better. So, that's pretty much going to wrap things up. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. We are going to be back once again. Weekend League Chronicles coming to you guys probably the next video. I will definitely tweet it out when it happens. 
Go follow me on Twitter. Go follow me on all my social media platforms. They are down below in the description. And until next time, I'm Steeler Sean. Hope you guys are staying safe. Have a fantastic day, and we'll see you in the next one.